Grandpa, um, what do you know about these myths? Your father would have been a better person to speak about those myths. He was a bit obsessive about it, but the book's not bad. You can read it. <laughs> this morning I went Grandpa, to see... What do you think happened to my dad? Okay. I'll tell you. But don't tell your mother we talked about it. Room. In that creepy dam you always go to. Why do you swim there? That place literally gives me the chills. I don't know, there's something peaceful, calming about it. Mm. Where's Juniper? Um, she said she's running a little bit late. Something about charging her crystals. I don't know. I never know with that one. You know they say the deeper into the forest you go, the more likely you are to see a shadow person? The shadow people? Really, you believe in those old stupid myths? Oh, oh! Good morning, Juniper. Well, no, but my grandmother's been drilling stories about them into my head since I was little. Haven't you heard any? Yeah, well... My dad used to ramble on about them. What are we talking about? Myths, vampires, shadow people. You know, those old campfire stories are just designed to scare people. There's no other point to them. Well, I know they're real because I've seen some. <coughs> no, you haven't. They too. They seem friendly, if anything. See, guys, didn't I tell you? Didn't that sound friendly? Yeah, but that was probably just an animal or a bird or something. Okay, whatever you need to tell yourself to sleep at night, friend. I don't know if you remember, but... You and your father were very close when you were young. David would never go anywhere without his right-hand man. You know, I... I only really have bits and bobs of him. I think it was a good thing that you were young when it happened. It didn't seem to affect you that much then. It was a miserable day. It's raining. And uh, your father came and said he was going down to that dam near the Dawnsland Forest. He kept on mumbling about Red flowers. Oh, I don't know why. My memory doesn't serve me so well. Your mother called me to say that he hadn't come home that night. We searched for days, weeks, trying to find something, anything. Juniper? 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 Oh, hi guys. 
you can't just run off like that. You get that, right? Especially after that sound that we heard earlier. Look how cute these flowers are. Can we go? Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on, Juniper. I was around him long enough to soak up some of his delusional ramblings about these bloody shadow people. He'd spend every waking hour looking into it. He even wrote this book. And it, he felt that there was, the, 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 the dam was the, the root of it. Of, of, of the energy. He'd go there often, looking at everything, examining everything. Kept mumbling about red flowers coming up when, when someone turned. Wait, Grandpa, you, you don't actually believe in these things. It's just some old folklore, something to scare kids from wandering too far into the forest. Right. At first, I thought it was hogwash, but then I started believing some of it. I believe that he's he's at home with them now. Grandpa, are you are you saying that you think my dad turned into one of those things? I mean, how does that even? I think we've had enough of this for the day. Time for bed. So your grandpa said that your dad went to the same dam that you swim in the day he disappeared? Well, I've been telling you guys they're real for ages, haven't I? And today, I even bought my supernatural thingamajig I made to prove it. Well, you also said that they give you a warm, fuzzy feeling on the inside, so they can't possibly be unfriendly. I brought all of my gear. How cool would we have recorded on camera? I didn't mean on one of those things. I meant on a proper camera. No. Look, we're not going looking for these things. I, I don't even know if I believe they exist. I just want to see if we can find any more of those red flowers. Alex, are you kidding me? You can't just write this off without at least looking into it. We brought all of our best gear. Or at least I did. Look, Alex, I really think you need to broaden your mind here. What if your dad really did turn into a shadow person? Come on, you could see him again. Imagine, talk to him. Come on, guys, now's our chance to see one. No! Juniper! What? What happened? I told the supernatural thing won't work, and I swear I charged it this morning. No, my dad's book did say that it could interrupt with the frequencies the deeper you get in the forest. No, dude, don't say that. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna do it all on my phone. Guys, in my dad's book, he said when someone turned into a shadow person, it left behind these red flowers. And I saw them yesterday at the dam and on our hike. Well then, I don't want to know what happened here. Guys, I think we should see if we can try attracting some. No, that's, that's not a good idea, please. No! Juno! 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 You'll scare them away rather than attract them. I know it can't be bad, okay? I can feel it in my tummy. Sure, everyone, let's trust Juniper's tummy. Look, that's enough excitement for today. There, can we just go down, please? What do you think the origins of the shadow people are, though? Like, West Coast, East Coast? Oh, um, guys, I think I see something move in the trees over there. Really? Where? What did you see?
Let's try.